Welcome back guys. I am Danny Riggs. And I'm Jules. And today we have an unboxing here to do on Res2. And that unboxing is of the most current release on Psychophone Records. Bobak plays The Residence. This album was originally released by Clan Gallery in September 2016 and features 14 tracks, all of them Res songs rewritten and sung by Charles Bobak, who did not sing the original versions of the songs. According to the liner notes of the CD, it was actually a suggestion from Walter Robotka of Clan Gallery that Bobak should record and sing these tracks, and I applaud Walter for it. Guests feature Nolan Cook and Carla Fabrizio. In some ways, it reminds me of the American Composer series, The King and I, or also Cube E, in that it's residential reworkings of songs, even if the songs at hand for this release were originally released by the residents. So, with all that said, let's get to unboxing. Anyone who has ordered from Psychophone before knows how well they package, and so I'm just going to leave all this in, but I will speed it up considerably. And here it is, PR41, being the 41st released by Psychophone Records. And as you can see, this cover is a reworking of the inside of the Clan Gallery CD. This being, I want to say, hand-drawn, or at least in a hand-drawn style. And this being more of a graphic design computer reworking. I'm having to guess that this is the light blue version. Actually, I know it is. Again, without the foil is the front. And here on the back, you can see a close-up of the inner picture from the CD release. And this is the light blue version. I know that from seeing pictures online already, and the light blue version is limited to 100 copies. It's a very nice color. Very sturdy, light blue. I think it's photographing a little bit lighter than it is in reality. And here you can see the name of the project. And on this side, it's simply a black metal. And like I said, this is limited to 100 copies, which are already sold out, as is the other limited edition that we'll be getting to in just a minute. Because this is the so-called collector's edition. And this is limited to 73 copies which are also already sold out. Did I just say that? I already said that, didn't I? Okay, so here you can see the same cover aside from those silver and golden circles, which reflect quite nicely and once again here a star with the number in the middle and this is part of no it's the sleeve ah gotta love andreas okay so this is a laminate that goes along with the project And when you've taken the laminate out of the case, you can see that drawing again. And this color is what is called multicolored splatter. Also somehow based on a blue color, a light blue color. I can see that this has grains of darker blue, of a pinkish red, 
some green and some yellow. And on this side, you can see the title of the album. And on this side, you can see more of those shiny dots. And so when you've assembled this little kit here, that side would look something like this. Also just a very stylish detail. But then it hit me when I was sitting here in the dark, stroking the record for good luck. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. There's something more to this album cover. The sticker on the front of this album is actually what is called rainbow foil. And observed in the right light, you can see why. Just as observed in the right light, you can also see that those stylish polka dots in silver and gold are also here on that cover. Since initially filming the first segment of this clip, I've also learned that all the artwork for the CD and also this LP release were done by Hardy Fox himself. No big surprise there. And I have also since learned that Andreas decided to make the collector's edition a run of 73 copies, honoring the age in which Hardy Fox passed away. Just like the silver and gold polka dots that are on the cover of this album, Andreas decided to really amp them up, seeing that Hardy Fox was apparently a big fan of Liberace. And if you don't know who Liberace is, check out YouTube. You're going to love that. And now back to your regularly scheduled episode of ResTube. And you might have noticed that there is one more thing down here. And that is number 10 of 10 test pressings. Very, very fortunate that I got this. As I'm sure you know, test pressings are very rare. Like I said, there are only 10 of these each for each Psychophone release. And I've been able to get a few over the last few years, and they're always nice to have, and a real collector's item. Well, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. If you enjoyed what you see, please hit like and subscribe. Share this on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. And as always, you guys stay healthy and stay weird. Bye-bye. According to the, according to the liner, according to the, according to the liner notes, anyone who has ordered from Mm-hmm. <laughs>